Autograph lets you distribute a large number of elements using a single layer with the instancer generator. Let's dive into an example using this card ribbon. Let's delete this card ribbon and just keep the table background. Then we can take a look at what was previously imported into the project panel. A sequence of 52 PNG images was used with a frame rate of one image per second. If we double click on this element to display it in the viewer and press the play button, we can see that a card is replaced by another every second. If we place this card on the table and play the animation, the card will be replaced every second. Instead of just using a single image, we'll use an instancer generator. The purpose of the instancer is to create a stack of layers based on a predefined template. In this case, the template consists of cards, but in the VFX realm, it could be used for explosions or any other type of stock shot. So let's drag our image sequence in the template slot. Right now, nothing is visible because the number of instances is set to zero. Let's start by adding 20 instances of the same card, one on top of the other. If we play the animation, we can see that the image sequence changes cards every second. To be able to see all 20 cards, we can play around with the transformation parameters while clicking on the Accumulate Transform option. This lets us shift each card relative to the previous one. Remember that for now, the same image is used for all instances. Keep in mind that this image is an animated image sequence with a frame rate of one image per second. To freeze the animation, we'll apply a hold frame modifier to the template. The hold frame modifier lets us define the time code of the image we want to keep throughout the entire animation. Since the image sequence is played at a rate of one image per second, a value of 10 will freeze the card displayed at the 10th second. Similarly, a value of 2 seconds will freeze the third card, a value of 1 will freeze the second card, and a value of 0 will freeze the first card. Instead of defining a fixed value for all of the cards, this value will be determined based on an instance index generator. The purpose of the instance index is to assign a unique identifier to each instance. Now we can see that each card has a different freeze frame value in the sequence. The instance transform parameters now allow us to place the cards as we want by adjusting the position and rotation parameters. We can also reverse the stacking order of the instances. Next, let's increase the number of instances, but before that, we'll just reduce the overall size of this instancer. We'll set the number of instances to 52 for the 52 cards. Now that all instances are in place, we can add modifiers that'll be applied onto each instance. These modifiers will be displayed as if they were applied to 52 layers within a composition. We can see this by adding a drop shadow modifier with a size of 30 pixels and reducing the opacity to 0.25. Finally, let's change the shadow direction so that each card casts a shadow onto the one underneath it. The instancer lets you quickly distribute dozens or even hundreds of elements like cards, stock shots, and elements that'll make up a texture for a 3D object. It's an excellent way to add a lot of detail in a short amount of time.